I heard a really great joke this weekend. It left me in stitches. Yes, Grace took a tumble this weekend. I tripped over my neighbor's dog and fell down some stairs. And now I have four stitches above my eye. Yay! If you haven't been able to figure out, I am not a very functional person when it comes to coordination or balance or what you're not supposed to do around animals. I literally got the stitches put in like five hours ago, but I'm here now making a video for you because stairs can't hold me down, but apparently gravity can. And you might be like, where the f where are we, Grace? Well, we're in my bathroom where Lincoln watches me shit. Don't ya? Because another lesson that I can teach all of you is that when life gives you a problem, you need to cover up the problem and hopefully the problem will just fix itself. So that's why I'm gonna give myself bangs again. I've been thinking about getting bangs again, but you know. The opportunity just presented itself. If you guys have been watching for a long time, I used to have bangs and I cut them myself and I did a horrible, horrible job. So bad that I had to go to my hairdresser and have her fix them for me. But hey, what do they say about trying something you failed at once for the second time? They say, why are you trying this again? But I just watched a lovely YouTube tutorial because you can learn everything on YouTube. This lovely little Asian girl that says, um, all the time, cut her own bangs and she told me how to do it, and now I feel the confidence from her um, to do it. You need four things to cut, five things. You can still count. Yeah, bruise this guy. Parents, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry, everything's fine. I'm fine. I'm really okay. Yeah, this happened too. Look, it makes my arm look skinnier now. Bonus. Okay. You need five things to cut your bangs. You need a bag of some sort to catch hair trimming, scissors, comb, hair straightener, and the number for an actual hairstylist to fix your hair tomorrow. Let's get started. I haven't washed my hair either, so that seems like something you're supposed to do just in life in general. Hey guys, isn't it really cool that you're sitting at home watching a stranger you don't know cut her hair? And I call this entertainment. The funnest part about me having bangs is that I have a calic right in the middle of my head. So literally all signs point to me not being able to have bangs. But I like a challenge. I live on the edge of a staircase and then I fall down it. You have to decide like where you want your bangs to start. And I don't know how to do this part. I'm gonna start here-ish. Do I want that much bangs? I guess so. Oh god. This cat looks like, please stop now. And then I'm gonna slide this to make a triangle. Oh god. This has got no written all over it. I'm gonna hold it in my mouth because that seems like what you do. And that covers up my vision, so I shouldn't do that. The, ow! I think there's still blood in my hair. Yay! Bang bang! Let me hear you say, Grace, you shouldn't do this. <laughs> That's off! Oh sh. This is just gonna be a fucking mess. The cool thing about cutting bangs yourself is that like, you really can't see what you're doing. Why is that part still uneven? Jesus, God, shit. I hate this. Dear future Grace, I'm so sorry. Does that look good? Good choice clicking on this video, y'all. Real entertaining shit going on up here. Oh, you need a hair tie too. Six things. Hair is tied back and we are done. Great, can't even see the band-aid. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I still have a sense of humor. Next, what you are supposed to do is use a straightener to straighten the bang hair so you know how it's gonna lay and all that bullshit. Ow, 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 just kidding. Hair can't feel things, but foreheads can. So I'm separating the hair that I want to blend the bangs into my hair and then the hair that I just want to be bangs. It's like the cool kids table and then all the kids that are trying to be cool but they have like the one weird allergy that keeps them from being totally cool. And now, like Jesus once said, here's where shit's cray. Make sure that your comb is level and I'd say start cutting a little longer than what you actually want. But then again, I'm not an expert. Oh my god, I made a cut. Oh my god, I'm cutting it. Oh my god, I'm cutting it. Fuck, I'm cutting it. Oh, this feels like a bad decision, but I can't go back in time. Oh my god! You should probably use hair cut. Oh no, everything's failing. Perfect! Uh, okay, we gotta fix some shit. 
So we're gonna chop up into it a little bit so the edges aren't so f***ing James Blunt. Fun! Now you're gonna take your hair straightener again and so it's not so flat, we're gonna kind of roll it. Hey, that's not that bad. We're having fun! It's fun to cut right above your eyes. Ah! I think we got it! We're done for now until I get someone to fix it better for me. But hey! I just gave myself f***ing bangs! Thank you Asian YouTube girl! Now you can barely tell that I was an idiot over the weekend. Bye!